Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Piyush Goel and today we are going to dive into our first hand-on lesson which is on workbench. Before we jump in, I want to give a shout out to all the amazing viewers. Your comment and supports have been incredible and it keeps me inspired to create the content that's valuable for you. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out our deep dives into the world of Tipco and beyond. And hey, if you have got any questions as we go through this or there is a specific Tipco topic you want me to cover in future videos, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you and your feedback shapes the content on this channel. Alright, enough talking. Let's get into the nitty gritty of Tipco Business Works. Grab your virtual notebook and let's dive right in. So let's get started. So Tipco Business Works is the design time ID based on Eclipse where you can create or test your processes. You can use Tipco Business Works for business works end to end application development. So let's see how we can create a workspace in a Tipco Business Works 6. So once the Tipco Business Works is installed you have to go to this path I mean it can vary so I have installed this on C drive and I have named a folder as a tipco so when you go to this path you will see a you click on this launcher tipco business work studio dot exe it will ask for a workspace and either you can select the workspace or you can create your own let me give it a name as a test work and then I will click on OK. This is the default workbench that got created automatically by the Tipco Business Work 6. So this is this is now the help section or you can say a sample section. So I can close this welcome page. And now this is your default workbench uh, created by the Tipco Business Work 6. So there are four main area in this workbench so if you notice on the left top side there is a project explorer so it is used for navigating your whole module structure and project resources and the right side right top right side of your workbench is your editor view it is a creative space for your implementation and if you look at the bottom left side so there are various views present over here and these the, there are several advantages of this like there are outline view api explorer cloud applications deployment server module file explorer there are many views over here as well so yeah and on the right side you will see there are also some views which are properties problems bw help so these are also very helpful so this is a default perspective of tipco business work 6 and this perspective is known as design perspective so there is a one more perspective which is a debug perspective so when you debug your application so when you are go when you are debugging your application so you have to create one configuration so you have two options either you can put a code on debug or you can put a code on run so debug is where you can see all the variables at run time and you can create breakpoints and many more things to analyze your implementation and see whether all the data manipulations are happening correctly or not and also you can customize your perspective like you can customize a perspective so let's suppose i don't need this you know bw help tab so i i i will close it and if i go to window there is a option uh there is an option to save perspective as. or let me give it a short name uh like I will give it a, a name as my view to to give it a short name I can click on okay 
so you will see on the right top side like it got changed to my view so these are the basic uh, uh, basic things about this workbench and uh, they you can also restart your workspace and uh, from this option and you can also switch to a different workspace like you have a multiple workspace created and you want to directly switch it so you can just go to this option and you know directly switch to the work whatever workspace you wanted to switch and yes guys this is all so see you next time